Right, <clears throat> as you all know from the title of the video, not that it's done yet, this was one of the K rations I featured the oh, a couple of videos ago. It's the one where the guy's dog nibbled the box, so the corner just fell off because it's, you know, a, a bit of a poorly um, box. Yeah, the dog nibbled all the corner. It is a sealed ration, though. So it does have that to it, so we get to play. Breakfast, meat and eggs, cold, blah, 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 biscuits, coffee, cereal, etc., sugar, chewing gum. Uh, who's it made by? Packaged by... Patton Food Products, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, as you can see, the box is it's rather worse for wear. This end actually just comes off. I'll save all these pieces and try and, you know, put it back on display. Thank you, Tom. Right, so that's, there you go, the box is, you know, it's, it's, it's not appalling, but, you know, I've got better ones on, on display. So, I'm going to wipe all the dust from the interior cardboard. So, we have waxed, sealed box, rattles, there's markings on that side, patterned by, no, packaged by Patton Food Products, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ah, then we need to break in somewhere. So we're trying to get in this end. I have a whole assortment of tools, scalpel, Stanley knife, leather one with the pliers out. Let's go for the Stanley and try and split the seam without destroying the box. Oh my God. Thank you, Rob. Obviously, everybody knows I'm doing a video, so everybody's going to message me continuously throughout. It's not got rot this end, but it's quite soft in one spot. I don't know which way the flap goes. It must go this way. Does it? Yes, it does. It's actually very hard to see. The, the wax is... It's like cutting through a cheese. It's quite thick on this. I don't want to destroy the box, so... Apologies for... Uh, me taking my time on this. I did think about opening it beforehand and I thought no because I don't know what you might miss out if I do that. So you get to see me gently cutting open a wax box. Now this is great because you, you know that when you do this you're the first person to you know, see what's inside this since they were put together on the line by all the women with the belts and they go through and put every ingredient or every component, should I say, it's not really an ingredient, is it? Into the box, and then it'll be wax sealed. And once dry, put in the outer box that's a bit mangled. Um, and then sealed in a crate, and off it would go. Thanks, Rob. Oh, we are, we are. We are making progress on one side, anyway, so. Oh yeah, there we go, I can see. You don't want to be pushed too hard because you don't want to stab through any of the contents or <laughs> as I'm really good with Stanley knives, my hand. I have a few scars on my hand from uh, Stanley knives. Right, and if we can where's that ruler? Oh, a big metal ruler at this purpose. But look, obviously the tabs are stuck to the flap as well, so we can prise those down. Magic. This is the rotten one. There we go. Right. We are ready. In. So I see that opened quite well. There you go. There's the flaps. And I can already see. I can see sugar. I still have got my, my proper light. So let's. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, crunchy, crunchy. Right. Let's get a bin. Because I think the can in here is absolutely beduckered. If you can, oh, a lot of rust pouring out. So what have we got? That's actually really, really well preserved. Let's put that down a second. And 
What else is in here? Yuck. Is, I think that can is an absolute gone, gone, gone. Oh, wow, the dust from this thing. I know uh, Steve would probably be wearing a uh, respiratory masky thing, but you know, he's far more sensible than I am. <clears throat> right, we have movement. We have, oh wow, yeah, that's absolutely just raining out of rust. Can we even remove the car? <laughs> see, actually, you look from there. Actually, looks not too bad. And then you see that hole, and yeah, it's really, really, really in bad shape. Wow, I mean, it's it's just completely, completely perished. The top of the can has just gone. Is there anything left of it? Top edge at all? The key. Ha! <laughs> the key. So, well, oh, the Leatherman's on the floor. Just run it over with the chair. So we have the cardboard sleeve. We can see where it's leaked everywhere. The inside is also, you know, covered in goop. So let's put that to one side in a minute. I mean, there's nowhere. It's such a shame. I mean, the can is, it's lovely and shiny in places. And then the top, where it says the writing, has completely gone. And I can just actually make out, I really don't want to lick my fingers. Um, that's the cleanest. No, I can just see net three quarter. Yeah, that big brown rock hard charcoal turd. I mean, I, who knows what that was? I mean, it's, it's muffin in shape. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'll. Uh, I'll pick that out and I guess display it upside down so it doesn't completely. I don't know what it's actually going to. There we go. It smells of nothing. It smells of dust and grit. I uh, know, I'm, like I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'll get the rest of the crap out of the can because you know that way around it's I mean how can it be shiny that way and then does that the other as I've just been sat that way up and it's just slowly eaten through after all this time oh well oh well the can's a bit of a, a bust and <laughs> I mean what do I do with that yeah, and, and the key the key is again it's all sparkly tiny bit of rust Funny the way something's just turned to nothing and oh, we've got some chiclets. I think this is the first packet of chiclets I've ever got. <laughs> this always be next to the can because oh, well, we, we threw them on the floor. One is white and the other is <laughs> completely oxidised and gone black. Adams chiclets, candy coated gum. I know Steve said that the gum was really really good but I don't think <laughs> I, I could bring myself to open that it's my first little pack of chiclets I've got so oh come on the cigs are stuck to the side there we go what have we got we've got oh hey a brand I don't have that's good no oh, the cellophane's a bit knackered on this side it's just flapping around but look at this side wow oh gold Cigarette special packaging for the armed forces. Regular packing, yellow and red, like you need to be told, although it doesn't really look yellow. Um, like a nicotine faded pub wall where it was white originally. <laughs> then it goes that pukey yellow colour. Okay, they're cool. They're really nice. Oh, what's it on the side? He, or oh, A. Lorry Lard Company, established 1760. I didn't know America was that old. Unless it was a British company. I don't know when the States was formed. I haven't got a clue. Wow, this is just wipe all that 
remnants of the cat. Ah, so we see a spoon, which means it's a type 4B, I believe, which is the last production, well, last change to the K rations, because the spoon was the last thing they changed, I think. I think it might be something else as well, but it was the last type. No, type B had the spoon, and that was... Oh God, a test, October, November, 44. Um, obviously that was when they were changed and then this could have been, you know, made in March 45 or September 45. It's just after that time. That is really, really good condition. Give the best ends to open. That end is the one that looks the least tidy. Oh, it's just so much rust. Okay, there we go. And if we get, use the giant knife, and just gently cut ourselves a little hole for entry. We can then get in. Oh, so I know you can't see me cutting as I've got it on my lap. Right, we got oh Jack Frost sugar cubes. Okay, try not to destroy the wrap, wrap packaging. Don't think I've had those before as well. I thought it's always Dominio with me. Jack Frost and there he is on that side. Sorry, Jack, turn you upside down. You get a like, there we go. You just about make him out. And there's a US patent number on one side. And no, I'm not going to try the sugar, and I know it's just sugar, but we all know what sugar tastes like. And there's, they said four of those, exactly the same. Okay, they're quite nice. What have we got sticking out in the middle? Oh, it's a, it's a fruit bar. Who is it? A dromedary fruit bar, yeah. Very, very standard. Whole thing. Absolutely black, and if you get it, if I get it just in the light, you might be able to see the text. And just there, you can just so, nope, there, you can just see the text. It's hard. It's it's hard to read in person, let alone with a shiny screen and a, and a camera. Both sides, dromedary fruit bar. That's it. In fact, you can see some sort of figgy, nutty sort of texture inside. Oh I mean, yeah, I think it was a black cardboard tray. And then a piece of white card, and, and then just a fruit bar. Oh, classic. Waldorf. Made for the US Army by the makers of Waldorf shit tickets. Yeah, I mean, it, it's such a pretty little thing for, you know, somebody to wipe your ass on. But I can't get excited about that. Now we have, of course, uh, Nabisco. Nabisco, is it just Nabisco? Yeah, it's a National Biscuit Company, National Biscuit Corporation, one of the two, uh, in New York. Not far from the piers. And then, all right. There's a picture of me standing in there. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Ready to eat cereal. With milk and sugar added net weight, one to one, one to half ounces. Eat dry or crumbling can and add to hot water. Manufactured. General Foods Corporation, New York, New York. Compressed and packaged by the Cambridge Tile Manufacturing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's check see who it is this time. It's Max. Oh, Max is food and, and he messages me. Thanks, Max. Yeah, that, that's my, that's my favorite. That's so nice. That's absolutely solid. I can't believe how well these items have held up in here. Soluble products. Uh, is it the coffee? Soluble coffee products, General Foods, New York. So again, same company. Henry Hyde Incorporated, New York, New York, USA. Hmm. Here we get another coffee. We do. Two coffees because it's breakfast. Why is always up there now? Nice. And the spoon absolutely mint. And even the, even the 
sounds right. It's, it's not dried up. It's it's got some flex to it. It's yeah, it's held up really well. It's just such a shame about that can. Wow. What a well, yeah, what a lovely little item. Honestly, these are never cheap to buy, but that was worth every penny opening that just to see what was inside. Yeah, some real wins there. I mean, the biscuits are always biscuits. Shit tickets, shit tickets, coffee's coffee. But even the coffee packets have held up so well. Um, the cereal's amazing. The old gold, the chiclets. Awesome. Do you know what? I've got three early um, K ration to open a breakfast a lunch and a dinner and I think we're gonna have to have a look at those now they're gonna be a bit more difficult to open so you may have to bear with the uh, opening process but I have faith we're gonna get some good stuff so I will put this to one side I'll put it back in the display cabinet um, and I'll get the other ones out and we can open those in a second so yeah, a very late one. Very, very late. Came ration, breakfast. I'm sure it's a type 4B. Yeah, that's why I'm just racking my brains on. Anyway, right, I'm going to call it there. That's 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Um, and I'll be back shortly. Enjoy. <laughs> 